Oh, a bit of space there for Davy. He's gone through them. Is this the equaliser? Good save by Fidemera. And Cockbush now the best. Space ahead of him. Terry Payne coming back as hard as he can. Payne still after him. Still best going on. Tripped. Free kick. And Fulham quickly getting on with the game. The ball with Marsh. A touch now for Cutbush. Hit low there. And it'll come now for Evanson. Oh, a tremendous goal. 2-0. Got his cross in there. Here's Marsh. Pinked it one side. Oh, what about that for skill? Knocked it one side of Lindsay, and before it hit the ground, he was round the uh, Hereford player and hitting it on the half <laughs> and enjoying every moment of it. Well, Bobby Campbell is a fellow who likes effort, but I think he enjoys a bit of skill as well, and he would have loved that bit of skill by Marsh. Now, Davy. Who's coming back? Slough covering well there for Fulham. Davy to Lindsay, good play there, and just a little too high. An own goal by Andy Howe. Substitute, City you know, and uh, Kevin Sheedy scored three goals in the reserves this week. Man passing him by, Terry Payne, doing a bit more shouting and a bit more directing. What a career he's had, though. Best. That's the best. Oh, my goodness, he hit the post. strong for Fulham. Best. Oh, what a ball there by Best to Marsh. And a beautiful save by Charlton Marsh. Jumping all over Burrows. Nice job by Mitchell. Marsh there to collect. Well, he won't fit them all there. And a lovely ball for Best. Now can he do the same? on the far post, Marsh with the header. Best, making his presence felt there again. Now it's John Evanson for Fuller. Played inside for Marsh. Looking around, seeing who he can pick up. Decides to go on in. Oh my goodness, what a goal! Oh, what a tremendous goal! Moore heading that one away. And now Marsh and Best are up. Best inside his own half. Marsh brought down. And Best on his way. Now he's got Tyler to beat. Oh, and in the end, Burroughs came up so quickly to dispossess him. And Marsh remonstrating with the referee that he was bowled over away in his own half. Just hadn't got that little finishing whip over the last ten yards of that run, George Best. Well, they were very slow there. And this might come now for Ernie Howe. No. Slow, no. Marsh. Well, they love that. But Lindsay read it. Killed in one move. Finds John Evanson. Tremendous worker for Fulham in the middle of the field. Here's Marsh. Evanson, the sort of player who makes the right sort of balance for the rather extravagant skills from time to time of Roddy Marsh. And here's another great break by Fulham. It's strong going all the way in, and he hits the post. Very nearly number five. And a corner instead of a goal. A great smile there from Les Strong. So the ball played there for Lestron and uh, he was wide of the mark again as Marsh and Best tried to set up something for him. He really seems to be enjoying his game and I think most Fulham fans are enjoying the afternoon now. Strong and our best.
Hurdle beautifully over Tyler. <laughs> Took it off Rodney Marsh. Marsh coming back to tackle him. Well, you can do that when you're 4-1 up. Here's Mitchell. Free kick right on the edge of the box, given away by Galley. He's had a fairly rumbustious afternoon, this big number five of Hereford. Another smile. And they're cooking up something. Well, the goalie will want a clear view of this. You can take my word for it. Best and Marsh will be cooking up something. And it almost came off in an unexpected way. Robbed up by Best. Hit by Marsh. In fact, there was a handball before it came to Ernie Howe. Here's Best again from that pass by Marsh. Played on now for Mitchell. Marsh and Best are right up there. Mitchell Best again Now taking on Burrows There's Best Oh and saved by Charlton and saved well It's with George Best That's the second nutmeg I've seen him uh, produce in this game That time through the legs of Roy Carter Well Rodney Marsh is the hero of the second half With George Best And Fulham are worthy winners By four goals to one and in the second half, you suspect it could have been six or seven. There are so many smiles about the place of Craven Cottage. And it's easy to see why people are delighted to come back here and enjoy themselves on a Saturday afternoon to watch the skills of players like Marsh and Best and the rest of the Fulham team as well.